Hi, I'm Sophie, and welcome to my world. Today, I have something really special for you. It's a duct tape bow tie. Now, you can wear this around your neck, or if you make it a little longer, you can put it in your hair. You can make these for your stuffed animals, dress them up and have a little prom. They're really fun and they're really easy. Now to make them, you're going to need some duct tape, of course. You're going to need a ruler. You're going to need a paper clip. Now I like the large size paper clips for this. They're just a little easier to use. You're going to need some scissors and you're going to need some string or yarn. Now this is just for measuring, so it doesn't matter really what this is. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is decide how big I want to make my bow. So I'm going to make a little three inch bow. That's what this size is right here. So I'm going to double that number. So if I want a three inch bow, I'm actually going to measure out six inches of duct tape. So just like this, I'm going to use pink here. And I'm going to measure out six inches of duct tape and give her a little rip, just like that. Now, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to put it down on my fabulous working board here. I'm going to cut another piece. This piece is going to be about a half an inch longer than my six inch piece. So about six and a half inches. Now, don't get worried, it doesn't have to be exact, but basically what you want to do is give yourself a little tiny extra flap of duct tape. So I'm just going to lay that right down there and you can see it's a little teeny bit longer. Okay, I'm going to take my piece, my shorter piece, and flip it over. I'm going to take my longer piece and flip it over. So what I'm going to do is take my shorter piece right here and I'm going to lay it on top of my longer piece. So I'm going to start at the end and I'm going to lay it on as well as I can. Don't get worried if you've got a little bit of the sticky stuff sticking over on the either end. We're going to trim it. It doesn't matter. Okay, now you'll see I've got a little tiny piece of duct tape fabric with a little sticky on the end. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this end all the way to the sticky side and then I'm going to fold that sticky side over. Now what I've made in essence is a little loop. See that? I've just made like a little cuff or a little loop. Now I'm going to trim any excess here because if there's any stickiness that's going to get caught on my neck so I just want to make sure that I trim that little excess stickiness. I did pretty well, so I'm just going to have to trim the bottom here. Now, the next step is to turn this into a bow. And because I want to make sure that I'm ready to stick my bow together, I'm going to tie my adhesive, I'm going to cut my adhesive piece right now. So all I need is a little piece that is about half to a quarter inch thick. I'm going to put that down on my surface so it's ready for me when I need it. Okay. now. Flip it over so that the sealed edge is facing up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to fold it right in the middle, almost like a little hot dog bun. And then I'm going to fold each end down. So there's one fold. Can you see that? And then I'm going to flip it over. It's almost like I'm making a fan fold here. Flip it over. There we go. And then when you open it up, you've got your little bow tie there. Now this is where I'm going to take this little piece of tape and I'm going to secure it. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap it around nice and tight. Okay, there you go. Now you can see you've got the perfect little bow. Now I want to make the collar piece that's going to allow it to go around my neck. To do that I'm going to take a piece of string and this is where I'm just going to use this string to measure. So I'm going to cut it a little bit long I'm going to take the string, wrap it around my neck, and where the two ends meet, I'm just going to cut. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my duct tape, and I'm going to make a piece of duct tape that is just a tiny bit longer, about an inch and a half longer than this piece of string. Okay. Whoop. <laughs> there we go. Remember, duct tape is very sticky. Okay. So now if you look at that, you can see that I've got just a little bit of extra, which is all I need. So I'm going to take my piece of tape, and this, again, you don't have to get too crazy about making it perfect because we're going to cut it. I'm just going to fold it in half as much as I can and just smooth it down. Now I got a little bit of a 
splodgy uh, crease in there, but don't worry about that. So now I'm going to trim the piece that's going to go around my, my neck, the collar piece. And so I'm going to make it about a quarter inch thick. It doesn't need to be any more than that. So I'm just going to trim. See, this is why I said it wasn't really important that you worry about that stickiness, if there's any sticky hangover. And it doesn't really matter if there's any little splodgy folds because you're just gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this piece here, because you're just gonna be making a nice long neck piece. So now I'm gonna attach this to a paper clip, and the paper clip is going to be my hasp. It's gonna keep my necklace together, basically. So I'm gonna take my um, little piece of duct tape fabric here and slip it through onto the small end of the paper clip, and now I'm just gonna get little piece of uh, pink duct tape ready here. Let me put that back over there. So that when I slide this through and loop it over, I can attach with this nice piece of duct tape and secure it into place. So I'm just gonna wrap that around so that's nice and secure in place, nice and strong like that. Now, all I'm gonna do is attach my bow tie right to the center. So. I just figure out where I, where I kind of like the center to be. And take another piece of duct tape. Again, just about half an inch. Actually, that's more like an inch as I look at it. And I'm just going to lay it on top like that. And I'm going to flip it over the whole thing so that the bow tie is attached to the collar piece, the neck piece there, and just secure it into place like that. And now the other side is going to just need a little loop so that the um, paper clip can attach into it just like that. See that? So to do that, I want to make sure that I, I've got the right size. So I measure first and I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to figure out where that is and I'm going to fold it over. And I did it just about right when I actually did it on the board here. I made a little loop and I'm going to secure it with tape. Now, I will be honest, probably going to need somebody to help you put this on. And also another thing to think about is if you're going to be wearing a collared shirt, you might want to make it a tiny bit bigger just so you've got a little bit of extra play. So now I've got my little loop. I'm going to open up my paper clip a little bit. Slip it on. Let's see if I can do this by myself. And I am all ready for my evening dinner with the queen. <laughs> I hope you have as much fun tying up a little uh, excitement with your duct tape as I do. I can't wait to see what you create.